So that's how we can convert from a binary number to a decimal number. Now I want to take a minute and note that there exists several number systems besides just the base 10 and the base 2 numbering systems. There's base 3, base 4, base 27. All that changes is that for base 27, for example, there's 27 different digits per place, and each place would be 27 to the 0, 27 to the 1st, 22nd, 27 squared, and so on. And you can convert a number from any base to any other base using math similar to this. So we've seen how we can convert from base 2 to base 10. Now let's see how we can convert from base 10 to base 2 converting from decimal to binary. So let's take a simple example. What is the value of 13 base 10 written in binary? Well, the first thing we need to do is determine how many places we need, how many binary digits are going to make up 13. Well, to do this, we will count up for, on our binary places, starting at 1 and doubling, going upward, until we get to a place that is too big to hold a 13. So starting at 2 to the 0, can a 1 fit into 13? Yes, so we'll keep going. Can a 2 fit into 13? Yes. Can 4 fit into 13? Yes. Can 8 fit into 13? Yes. 16 cannot. 13, 16 is bigger than 13, so we know that we will not have any digits in this place. So 13 will be made up using these four bits. So now, to represent 13 in binary, we just need to figure out which powers of 2 go into 13. So we'll start at the top and count downwards. Does 8 fit into 13? Yes, it does. 13 is bigger than 8. So we'll put a 1 there. We know that the binary expression of 13 must have a 1 in the 8th place because an 8 can fit into 13. Now we have 5 left over. With the remaining bits, we need to represent a 5. So can 4 fit into 5? Yes. So let's add a 1 there. We see that 13 can actually be expressed as 8 plus 4 plus 1. So now we need to represent 1 with our remaining bits. So can 2 fit into 1? No, it can't. So we'll put a 0 there. 1 fits into 1. 1 is exactly 1, so we'll put a 1 there. We see that really what we're doing is we are breaking down 13 into its powers of 2. And since 13 has a 8, a 4, and a 1, each of those places gets a 1 in the binary representation. The 8th place has a 1, the 4th place has a 1, and the 1th place has a 1. So 13 base 10 is actually equal to 1101 base 2. So to recap, there's a number system for every base. We're very familiar with the decimal system that's base 10, and that uses the digits 0 through 9, 10 different digits. We also have the binary system, which is base 2, and that only uses two digits, 0 and 1. There's also the octal system, which is base 8, and that uses the digits 0 through 7. They all work exactly the same, and we can convert a number from any base into any other base. The number remains the same, it's simply how we express it and which digits we use. Let's explore number systems in the editor.